Hey everyone, this is Cassie from Desert Sun Yoga, and today we're going to do a gentle yoga practice. Um, I'm not going to use any props, but you might like to have a block or a blanket nearby to make some things a bit more accessible or comfortable. For instance, we'll start in a seated position. Um, and if you have a little blanket or a block, you can just sit right up on the edge of that to take some pressure off of your lower back. Um, so go ahead, get yourself situated. If you have a mat, come to a mat. Otherwise, make sure that you've got some nice space wherever you are to take up some room. Relax your shoulders back. Try to find a neutral back of your neck. So you pull your head backwards a little bit to be in line with your spine. Close your eyes. Let's uh, face your palms down onto your knees to start today. Work on some internal grounding. Perfect. Give yourself a nice deep inhale. Gentle sigh out. And take another inhale. Gentle sigh. Let's do one more breath like that. Inhale. Sigh. Keep the rest of your spine really tall. Tuck your chin to your chest. And gently roll your right ear towards your right shoulder. Come back down to the center and take it to the left. And down to center, to the right, and down to center, to the left, down to center, to the right. This time, take a full circle, lift your face all the way to the ceiling until your chin is at your chest. One more circle in that direction. Eventually pause with your chin at your chest. Take two gentle circles in the opposite direction. Good, pause with your chin at your chest and lift your head back to neutral. We'll take some seated cat cows. Open your arms out wide, palms face forward. Try to puff your chest forward, open through the front of your body, maybe even lift your face just a tiny bit. Take a great big inhale. As you exhale, reach your fingertips forward, round your spine, tuck your chin. Inhale, open your arms out wide, open through your chest. Exhale, reach forward, round your spine, tuck your chin. Inhale, open your arms out wide, open through your chest. Exhale, reach forward, round. Do that three more times. Inhale, open. Exhale, round. Inhale, open. Exhale, round. One more time. Good. Come back to a neutral seated position. Bring your right fingertips out to the side of your body on the floor. Stretch your left arm up to the ceiling, left shoulder down. Take a lengthening inhale. And as you exhale, really gently arch towards the right. Try to push yourself away from your right hand so you can lift through your left rib cage. Keep your shoulders relaxed. And take one more breath. Use the strength of your core to come back up to center. Let your left fingertips come onto the floor. Reach your right arm up to the ceiling, right shoulder down. Take a lengthening inhale. And exhale, really gently side stretch towards the left. Push yourself away from your left hand, shoulders down. And take one more breath here. And 
Use the strength of your core to come back up to center. Excellent. Interlace your fingers together. Try to keep your forearms touching one another and take circles with your wrists in one direction. Take your circles in the other direction. And pause. Gently release your hands. Plant your hands onto the floor in front of you so that you can uncross your legs and come into a position. Good. Make sure that your wrists are stacked underneath your shoulders, knees underneath your hips. Try to press the tops of your feet against the floor. Push yourself away from the mat, belly button to spine. Good. Shoulders away from your ears. Shoot your hips over to the right and gaze over your right shoulder towards your hips. Then come back to center. Shoot your hips over to the left. Gaze over your left shoulder. Come back to center. Try to use your core to do this. We'll take it side to side a bit. To the right, center, left, center. Right, center, left, center. One more time. Good. Pause in the center. Bring your big toes together. Open your knees out wide. Sink your hips towards your heels. Find a child's pose. Try to roll your shoulders away from your ears. Keep the, them broad across your back. Breathe in and out through just your nose if you can. Take one more breath. Come back up onto your hands. Bring your knees about hip distance apart. Tuck your toes, lift your knees off the floor as you push your chest back towards your thighs for downward facing dog. Keep your shoulders nice and broad. Press through your pointer fingers. Press through the four corners of your palms. Keep your knees pretty bent. Our hamstrings really haven't gotten warmed up yet. Take one more breath here. As you inhale, lift up onto the balls of your feet. Look forward at your hands. Exhale, bend your knees and walk your feet all the way up to your hands. Bring your hands to your shins. Lengthen your spine for a half lift. Pause here. Think about belly button to spine, shoulders away from your ears, itty bitty little tuck of your chin, really so it feels like you've got a nice line of energy going from the crown of your head down your spine spine to your tailbone. Nice. Little softness in your knees here helps protect your lower back. Locked out legs really just puts pressure on your kneecaps. And if you've got tight hamstrings, it pulls on your back muscles. Good. Take one more lengthening inhale. Forward fold, exhale, relax into a rag doll. Heel toe your feet out wider than your hips. I like to bring my feet out to the edges of my mat. Bend your knees a lot so you can fold in between your thighs. Reach for opposite elbows and let your torso sway side to side. Just loosening up through your lower back. Take one more breath here. And pause in the center. Release the grip of your elbows if you have them and heel toe your feet back to hip distance apart, which you can usually measure by bringing two fists in between your feet. Hands to your shins, inhale, lengthen your spine, half lift. Exhale, fold, relax your head. Inhale, stand tall, sweep your arms up to the ceiling. 
Exhale, bring your hands down to heart center for mountain pose. Good, keep just a little tiny invisible bend in your knees here so you're nice and buoyant. Belly button to spine, shoulders relax down your back. You've got a tiny little tuck of your chin. So you're not really tucking. This isn't what I'm looking for when I say tuck. I mean really just like you're trying to pull your head back a little bit and give yourself a super sexy double chin. Nice, take a full breath. As you inhale, sweep your arms up to the ceiling. Exhale, forward fold, soft knees on your way down. Hands to your shins, inhale, lengthen your spine, half lift. Exhale, fold, relax your head. Inhale, stand tall, sweep your arms up. Exhale, hands come back down to your heart center. Let's do it like that again. Inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Lengthen your spine. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold, relax your head. Inhale, stand tall, sweep your arms up. Exhale, hands come down to your heart center. Just one more time, connecting your breath to movement. Inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Lengthen your spine. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold, relax your head. Inhale, stand tall, sweep your arms up. Exhale, hands come down to your heart center. Pause here, take a nice deep breath. Let's add on to that flow a little bit. Inhale, arms reach up to the ceiling. Exhale, forward fold, soft knees on your way down. Find length in your spine. Inhale, half lift. Plant your hands onto the floor as you exhale. Bring your knees down to the mat for tabletop. Inhale, open your chest. Lift your gaze, cow pose. Exhale, push the floor away around your spine for cat. Inhale, come to a neutral spine. Tuck your toes as you exhale. Melt your chest back towards your thighs for downward facing dog. Keep your full palm on the floor. Notice the tendency to try to lift up underneath your pointer fingers and try to keep them down. Try to broaden through your shoulder blades. Now you don't want to bend your elbows out wide like this, that's going to put a lot of pressure near your shoulders. Think about turning the backs of your elbows to face in towards your thighs. Broaden your shoulder blades as you do that and think that you're like trying to squeeze a beach ball in between your arms. Good. Take one more breath here. As you inhale, lift up onto the balls of your feet. Look forward at your hands. Exhale, bend your knees and step your feet forward to your hands. Find length in your spine. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold, relax your head. Inhale, stand tall, sweep your arms up. Exhale, hands come down to your heart center. Take a full breath. Inhale, sweep your arms up. Exhale, forward fold, soft knees. Find length in your spine. Inhale, half lift. Plant your hands on the mat as you exhale. Bring your knees down to the mat. Inhale, lift for cat, <laughs> cow. Exhale, push the floor away around your spine for cat. Inhale, come to a neutral spine. Tuck your toes. Exhale, lift your hips to the sky. Melt your chest back for down dog. Just one breath here this time. As you inhale, lift up onto the balls of your feet. Look forward at your hands. 
Exhale, bend your knees and walk your feet forward to your hands. Find length in your spine. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold, relax your head. Inhale, stand tall, sweep your arms up. Exhale, hands come down to your heart center. One more time, take a full breath. Inhale, sweep your arms up. Exhale, forward, fold it down. In your spine, inhale, half lift. Plant your hands down as you exhale, come to your table. Inhale, open your chest, lift your gaze, cow pose. Exhale, push the floor away around your spine for cat. Inhale, come to a neutral spine. Tuck your toes as you exhale, lift your hips up, melt back into down dog. Take a full breath. Inhale, lift to the balls of your feet. Look forward at your hands. Exhale, bend your knees and step your feet forward to your hands. Find length in your spine. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold, relax your head. Inhale, stand tall, sweep your arms up. Exhale, hands come down to your heart center. Take a full breath. Good. Now that we've got the body warmed up a little bit, let's work on a few more complicated postures. We'll start with a tree pose. So I'm going to bring my hands onto my hips. And in any posture, you always want to focus first on your foundation because that's where your stability starts from. So I'm going to lift my right foot up. Bring my heel to the floor, spread your toes out nice and wide, and step down so you've got this wide base of support. Keep a teeny invisible little micro bend through your right knee so you feel pretty strong, a little buoyant. Good. Then you're going to take the left sole of your foot, bring it up against your right, th uh, right ankle, maybe up onto your calf, or you can even manually place it onto your thigh. Anywhere except your knee. I know that the sole of your foot fits really well there, but you can put a lot of pressure on your knee there, and that's not good. Then notice if when you did this, you shot your hips over to the right, and see if you can kind of knock them back to neutral. Belly button to spine, so your core is working here. You can keep your hands on your hips. Find something on the floor in front of you. Let's say about four to six feet in front of you. There's something that you can focus on. That's going to help with your balance. Hands can stay on your hips. They can come to heart center. Or you can mess around with some other variations. If you start to feel pretty good about this balance, keep whatever you're looking at in your mind's eye and see if you can close your eyes and just notice what that does to your balance here. Good, take one more breath. Open your eyes if they're closed and Think about it like the floor is lava here. I'm going to bring my hands back to my hips. Pivot your left knee in front of you. Bend your right knee a little bit more and carefully step your left foot out behind you about a foot and a half, maybe two feet. So we're setting up for a pyramid pose. All right, so your right toes are facing forward, left toes are facing forward. You try to square your hips and keep just an invisible little bend through both knees. Now, I don't want you to lean forward and bend into your right knee a lot as you do this. Try to keep your hips right in between your legs. You're going to take a lengthening inhale. Hinge forward at your hips as you exhale and only go as far as you can with a long spine. You can bend a little bit more into your front knee if you need to for stability, but you're not leaning forward into it. 
Good. Now see if you can reach your hands behind you and grab for opposite elbows. If it's okay, it's okay if you don't quite reach your elbows. Shoulders down. Find that super sexy double chin. And take one more breath here. Then hinge at your hips, allow the upper part of your spine to round, relax your head and neck. Good, now you can keep your hands bound or maybe you release your hands, let your hands come down to the floor or onto your front leg. Take one more breath here. If your hands are on the floor, bring them to your hips. Lengthen your spine again until it feels like you're in that half lift. Use the strength of your core to peel yourself all the rest of the way up. Good. Pivot all of your toes to face the long edge of your mat and heel toe your feet out a little bit wider. So definitely wider than hip distance. I don't want your toes to face out away from you. They face straight forward or maybe just a tiny little bit, your big toes turn in to face towards each other. That might give you a little bit more room um, in your hips, but Pain is never gain in our yoga practice. Belly button to spine, hands on your hips. You're going to take a lengthening inhale. Hinge forward at your hips as you exhale, flat back. Good. Take a lengthening inhale. Let your hands come down towards the floor as you exhale. You can bend your knees a lot. Let your head and neck hang down heavy. Good. So another forward fold. This time our legs are a little bit wider than they were in the beginning of class. We get a little bit deeper into your hamstrings, into your hips, and into your lower back. And take one more breath here. You can bend your knees just a tiny bit more. Fingertips on the floor. Try to lengthen your spine until you're in a flat back. Hands onto your hips. Lift up just a little higher. Teeny tuck of your chin. Use the strength of your core to peel yourself all the way up. Good. Pivot your toes to face towards the top of your mat again. Bend through both knees and carefully step your left foot up to meet your right. Good. Shake out whatever happened on that side. We're going to work on the other side. So starting first in our tree pose. Hands onto your hips. Let's set a good foundation. Lift your left foot up. Heel to the floor. Spread your toes out wide for a nice solid base as you step down. Right sole of your foot, either against your ankle, on your calf, or you can manually place it up onto your thigh. Notice if your hips shoot to the left and try to bring them to center, belly button to spine, and decide what kind of tree you'd like to be. Remember, finding a point of dristy is really going to help your balance. And if you're feeling like a rock star, close your eyes. Take one more breath. And 
Allow your eyes to open if they're closed. Bring your hands onto your hips. Pivot your right knee to face in front of you. A little bit of a deeper bend through your left knee like a ninja. Step your right foot towards the back of your space to set up for your pyramid pose. All toes are facing forward. You try to square your hips. Keep your hips centered between your feet. You can reach for opposite elbows. Nice. Take a lengthening inhale. Hinge at your hips as you exhale. Only go as far as you can with the long spine. Tiny little tuck of your chin. It should feel again like you've got a nice straight line of energy going from the crown of your head down your back towards your tailbone. And this might seem like a really simple shape, um, but you should be working. Even really experienced yogis in this posture should feel themselves working. Nice job. Take one more breath. Start to passively fold. Let the upper part of your spine round down over your left leg. You can keep grabbing onto your elbows here. Or maybe you release your hands down towards the floor. If you can't quite reach the floor, maybe you can be up on blocks or hands can come onto your left shin. And take one more big breath. Start to lengthen your spine, engage through your core. Hands come up onto your hips. Use the strength of your core to lift all the way back up. Nice. Then start to pivot to face towards um, the side of your mat. Heel toe your feet out a little bit wider. We are going to set up for goddess this time, so your toes face out away from each other. Belly button to spine. Good. You're going to take a big inhale. As you exhale, bend your knees and sink your hips down. Now for goddess, what happens a lot our knees start to cave in. That is not good for your knees. I want you to think about opening your legs out wide, even if that means your feet need to be a little bit closer together, or maybe you don't sink down as low. Belly to spine, squeeze through your pelvic floor, relax your shoulders. You can bring your hands to heart center. I like to call this one a little bit of an angry ballerina because you're so tucked and tight, pressing down through your feet, hug your rib cage in. Find a little tiny tuck of your chin. We're going to build a little heat here. So breathe. See if you can sink just a little bit lower. Oh, yeah. Take two breaths. Stand all the way up. Good. Hands to your hips. Pivot all of your toes to face towards the top of your mat again. Bend through your left knee and step your right foot forward to meet your left. Relax your shoulders back. Palms face open. Give yourself a nice deep breath. As you inhale, sweep your arms up to the ceiling. Exhale, forward fold. Soft knees on the way down. Protect your low back. Find length in your spine. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, plant your hands onto the floor. Bring your knees onto the floor. Keep your knees together. As you sink your hips towards your heels, reach your hands behind you towards your feet, forehead to the floor for a fetal position.
Take one more breath. Bring your hands underneath your shoulders. Press into your hands so that you can lift your torso up. Sweep your legs off to one side. Sit down onto your butt and start to plant your feet onto the floor in front of you. I like to scooch myself a little bit forwards here so that I'm still fully on my mat as I grab onto the backs of my thighs and roll all the way down onto your mat. Hug your knees in towards your chest once you're there. Let your arms just open out wherever they want to go and really gently let your hips rock side to side. Really try to press your lower back against the mat. Give yourself a nice little massage. And pause in the center. Try to keep your low back pressed down against the floor. Try to hug your rib cage together and separate your legs, start to take circles with your legs in the opposite direction of one another. Good, take your circles in the other direction. And pause in the center. Plant your right foot down onto your mat. Cross your left ankle on top of your right thigh. Keep your left foot flexed. You can use your left hand to push your left thigh away from you. You can stay right here. You can also start to lift your right foot off the floor. When you do that, you'll feel a little bit of a deeper sensation stretch through your left glute. You can wrap your right hand around the back of your right thigh. Hug it closer to you. Take one more breath. Plant your right foot back down onto your mat. Plant your left foot down onto your mat. Cross your right ankle on top of your left thigh. Keep your right foot flexed here. You can use your right hand to push or maybe lift your left foot off the floor, knee towards your chest, and you can wrap your hand around the back of your left thigh. Use your left hand to help squeeze your left leg closer to you. Right hand pushes your right thigh further away from you. Again, to help you get a little bit of a deeper sensation through your right glute. Take one more breath. Allow your left foot to come back down onto your mat. Uncross your right leg. Let your right foot come to the floor. Scoot your hips over to the right about an inch or two. And then let both of your knees fall over to the left until your hips are stacked one on top of the other. Let your right arm open out to the side. You can gaze anywhere you want here. Take one more breath. Hug your knees in towards your chest. Roll over onto your back. Shift your hips to the center of your mat. Plant your feet back down onto your mat. 
Scoot your hips over to the left about an inch or two and let both of your knees fall down towards the right. Hip stack one on top of the other and let your left arm stretch out to the side. Take one more breath. Hug your knees in towards your chest. Start to roll over onto your back. Recenter your hips onto your mat and stretch your legs up to the sky. Stretch your arms up to the sky. Let your elbows stay soft. Wrists, knees are soft. Take circles with your wrists and ankles in one direction. Good. Take your circles in the other direction. And pause in the center. Take two big breaths here. Bend your knees and allow your feet to come down onto your mat. Arms come down along the sides of your body, wherever they want to land. Allow the soles of your feet to come together. Open your knees out wide for butterfly pose. Allow your legs to stretch out long. Take any adjustments that you need to be comfortable on the floor. Allow your eyes to close. And let go of any particular breathing patterns that you may have held on to for the duration of class. And allow your breath to be natural. Allow yourself to stay in Shavasana for as long as you'd like. When you're ready, we'll take small movements with your body. Eventually, Hug your knees in towards your chest. Roll to your favorite side in a fetal position. Use a free hand to push down against the floor and help lift you back up to a seat. 
right where we started our class today. Shoulders relaxed, you sit tall. This time, palms face up. We're allowing yourself to receive whatever energy you drop down during this class. And bring your palms together, thumbs press against your chest. The light in me honors the light in you. Namaste. Thanks for joining this gentle yoga class. I hope you enjoyed um, and I hope to see you again soon.